So I primarily came out to harvest some callaloo, which is my new favorite leafy green. I'm still recovering from some spider trauma. Matter of fact, I need to get Mr.'s gloves from out, of, out here. It's kind of chilly out here. And this pot. Mm, see? I almost stuck my head right in that, right in this spider web. There's a watermelon there. Here are a couple in here. A couple of these are not going to be edible. Oh, see, I see a web flying in the air from the evergreen to right there, just in the middle of the air. Oh, but anyway, that's what that watermelon looks like, and that's how big it is. It's about the size of my, the ball of my foot. It's not one that's actually a weed. These are those, um, these are the corn salad leaf lettuce. My cucumbers have a lot more flowers on them. I did see one turning into a cucumber, actually. And there are, there are a host of flowers at the bottom. Tomato in a small pot. I have a, the typical size tomato right here with these in really big tomatoes. My mandarin tree. Is it gonna have thorns too? Yeah, it's gonna have thorns too. Collard. I'm gonna have to spray it again. We just had a storm and I do see a worm in the center of that. My Maya lemon. Honeycrisp apple, which is ironically looking healthier as it gets colder. Bell pepper. This little one has a lot, well, not a lot, a lot for it to be so small. It has some, several peppers on it. Longevity spinach that had kind of yellowed a little, but it's looking much better since it's cooling off out here. Lemon verbena, all three of these. This one, which is which is the mother it's flowering like crazy right now what's going on right now with my kale as you can see it has little to no damage on it but that is not to say it's to be trusted to go inside because now that the uh, cabbage worms are gone i'm seeing small spider webs all throughout this plant these plants so before i that's my neighbor he loves to get, get real loud when he knows somebody's outside over here. But anyway, you know how privileged people do. I ain't mad at him. Live your life, Bobo. Okay. Okay, insect just tried to get in my mouth. My lip stopped it, but insect just try to get in my mouth. Right there. You see that big ass thing? Look, okay, he just climbed above the fence. Do you see that big ass thing? He's in the center of the um, center of the frame of the camera. Going down, going down. Oh, oh, so scary. Okay, the reason why that's extra terrifying for me is because we also just had a spider experience that I did not post. I can't even talk about that. I'll talk about it when I post it. I have several of my green onions up. Happy to see that. And the red one, the red one's going strong. I actually need to pull everything in the bottom of the raised bed and start all over with my leaf, with my spinach because it got hot again, so. My Malabar spinach is flowering. 
I need a much taller stick to put in here. French sorrel. I'd like to think that I get a few leaves of that before it gets cold. My comfrey replenishing itself. Herb pot. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. I thought my oregano was coming up, but it's actually it's my cilantro. Mm. God. There's another spider web from there all the way to the fence. Ah. There's my Kalalu. There's not enough for too much of another harvest. I could put a few leaves at a time and some eggs, but I want to plant several more. I want to take some of these small bits off and i'm going to propagate one indoors a couple more out here maybe i'll have uh, maybe they'll grow fast enough for a harvest before the weather catches it oh, here's a ball here's a ball don't mind taking that back to me over here i'm scared to be over here because this is where that spider web is yeah, all of these, uh, all this stuff is done. I'm gonna go ahead and have Mr. pull this okra. There's a spider. You can look against the house. You can see her right there. Her web goes from that tree to that one. Oh, look what a good job Mr. did. He trimmed all of this evenly up against the trees. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is come out and take some of these cut, take cuttings off of this. Ooh, I hit him. I'm so mad that I didn't realize what those were and let them continue to grow. Hopefully I can get me some Kalaloo going. Because if there's an aftertaste and if it is a uh, gooey or whatever, slimy, uh, there won't be a need for this. Especially if, Kalaloo, if I can get Kalaloo somehow to grow inside. Because I'm telling you right now, that Kalaloo is my ish.